Decade Bird Publishing presents Star Wars Legacy Based on the comics by John Ostrander Number 4 Noob Yinker An Imperial base these past seven years, an HQ for the 407th Storm Trooper Division. And now my new home, as well. That's me, Trooper Anson Trask, ten days out of training in green as Banth the Butter. Who? Look at that haircut. Noob. Noob. Raw meat on the roof. Lost already? My first assignment was to find my squad. They programmed the squad's coordinates into my handheld when they dropped me off the shuttle. Problem was, the 407th was getting ready to head out on its next mission and the directions didn't quite match up. And my fellow troopers weren't a lot of help. It was every recruit's nightmare. I decided to ask for directions. Hey, buddy, you have any idea where Joker Squad, Company C, Battalion 9, might be? Oh. Sith me. Bad choice of words. Trask. Are you Trooper Anson Trask? Uh. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, Sergeant. You were supposed to stay at the debarkation point until I came and claimed you, Trask. Now you've wasted my time looking for you. An annoyed Lord Malevol. But? Shut up. Noob. Apologies, my lord. I'm Sergeant Harkas, Joker Squad. The kid's ours but he's a newbie, a noob. No disrespect was intended. This won't happen again. See to his disciplining. Or I shall. Uh. Sergeant Harkas? I didn't receive any orders telling me to wait at the shuttle. There weren't any. That was just to keep that Sith from crisping your noob butt. You want to keep your distance from guys like him. Come on. I'll take you over to the rest of the squad. These are my jokers. Jess Gies Tang is in charge of the big gun, that's Hondo Car with the vibro knife, and the guy looking at your gear with a glint in his eye is Vax Pador. Troopers, meet the noob. Actually, my name is Anson Trask. Nice to meet you. What's his problem? Hondo doesn't waste any energy. Learning your name would be a waste, since noobs don't usually last very long. Don't take it personal. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Throttle back, noob. Vax knows how to trade that carp they issue you for stuff we'll really need. Let him work his magic. Relax. You'll live longer. Maybe. Jess hopes you do. She's got six hours from touchdown in the pool. You've got a pool on how long I'll live. Yeah, ten creds a slot. One who's closest to the time you kick it wins. One in? Sure. Put me down for a month. Ooh, an optimist. But I like your spunk, noob. A month it is. Heads up, jokers. The lieutenant's back. The replacement has shown up, lieutenant. Trooper Anson Trask reporting, sir. At ease, trooper. I'm Lieutenant Gil Castle. I'm sorry, for your sake, that you're joining us now and not after this mission. What did we pull, lieutenant? You may have heard some of the rumors that some units are still loyal to our former emperor, Rome fell, and have been defecting to him, wherever he is. It's true. An informer told us that the 908th, over on Borosk, was going to be next. Their transport was destroyed, and they are stranded. Grand Admiral Veed and the Moff Council want to keep the base intact as much as possible, so they're sending in ground troops to take out the 908th, us. They can't be serious. Lieutenant, we're supposed to fire on our own? Jistang. The 908th stopped being on of our own when they decided to go rogue and join Fell. That why they sent the Sith? Darth Great, Emperor Great is not certain we'll do our duty, given the defections. Darth Malevol is here to make sure we do. He's in overall command. So pack up your gear, troopers. We're off to Borosk. Joker squad was among the vanguard to hit Borosk. 
Our initial assignment was to capture and secure the gun and shield placements along the perimeter wall of the 908's HQ. The way Lieutenant Castle led from the front, I could see why lieutenants had the highest mortality rates. Sergeant Harkas was right beside him, giving the lieutenant as much cover as he could. Hondo Carr picked his shots calmly and carefully. Incoming fire barely merited his attention. Jeski's tank cut swathes with the big gun. It did a lot of damage, but every four shots, it needed a new power pack. Vax Pador kept low and blazed away. He moved quick and sharp, making himself a difficult target. And I froze. Battle sims don't really prepare you for the noise and confusion of the real thing. And I wasn't sure if I could tell our troopers from the those of the 908. Lord Malevo, at the very apex of the attack, didn't seem to care. Maybe so far as he was concerned, there wasn't any difference between us and them. I'd heard of what the Sith, or Jedi, could do. This was the first time I'd ever seen it myself. I don't know what frightened me more, the many different ways he found to kill, or the joy they gave him. Me. I found it hard to pick a target. But I finally figured it out. Heads up, Geese Tang. Nice shot, new. Finally figure out who the enemy is? Yeah. Anyone trying to kill a Joker? I got your back, Geese Tang. Lead on. And that's how I got through my first day of battle. We finally secured the gun platform and were allowed to stand down for the night. The 908th retreated deeper into the main fortress. Tomorrow would be worse. Not what you expected, is it? I killed my first man in combat today. He wore stormtrooper armor just like mine. No, it's not what I expected. What did you expect? Why did you sign up? My old man was a trooper. Member of the 407th. Always talked about the honor of the armor. Wonder what he would have thought of today. As the son of a trooper, I had the option of joining his old unit, continuity of service, they call it. So here I am. What's your story? Not much to tell. I'm Corellian. Through the Imperial mission, I got a chance to join the Empire. Beat the alternatives being offered me. Some of the others have better stories. Lieutenant Castle's a good guy, for an officer. Born and raised on Bastion. Imperial to the core. So's all his family. Sergeant Harkas's nickname is Harkcase. He earned it. He gets the mission done, but he also gets us back as intact as possible. Vax was a thief down in the underlevels of Coruscant. Down there they have long, unpleasant memories of the Vong. So he joined the Empire rather than side with the G.A. Hondo Kar is, well, Hondo Kar. Some say he's ex-Mandalorian. Hondo doesn't say much. Lieutenant Castle, I understand you have suggested a truce to be made with the deserters to give them a chance to surrender. Lord Malevol? Fighting against other stormtroopers doesn't sit well with our own troops. A surrender would prevent needless loss of lives and material. You have a brother in the 908th, do you not? A captain? Yes, my lord, but that's not the reason I made the suggestion. There will be no truce. There will be no surrender. I don't care how many die. An example will be made of the deserters. The 908th are traitors and they will be killed, every last one of them. This squad will lead the attack tomorrow. I will be watching. If you falter in the slightest, I will kill you all myself. Is there something you want? You'll feel it when I do, Sith. Slimy. Stand down, Jess, and I mean now. This is wrong, Lieutenant. You can't say that, Ka. Not to me. You have to hear it, Lieutenant. Hondo's right. Maybe we should be joining the 908th. And fell. Maybe we could find a way let the 908th escape. No 908th, no fight. 
What are we going to do, Lieutenant? Your call. I don't know. Hey, noob. What's a trooper's first duty? Uh. To obey the orders of his superior officer, Sergeant. That's right, noob. That's exactly right. We don't get to question. We don't get to pick the mission. Our job is to complete the mission, whatever it takes, no matter the cost. That's what we do. I'm going to do my duty. Anyone else? I am, Sergeant. I guess. Yo. Yes. Hondo. You know, Sergeant. This duty stuff really sucks for it sometimes, but yeah, I'm with you. We breached the main fortress about midday, and the fighting got hand to hand in the corridors. We pushed in and on. We rushed into what had been the main mess hall. The 908th had gun emplacements on the upper level walkways. They distracted Vax from another danger. Kark me. Bits of Vax and other pieces of shrapnel whizzed past us. I shielded the lieutenant as best I could. We lost Gies Tang next. There were a couple of problems with the big gun that Gies Tang used. All those extra power packs are vulnerable to stray blaster bolts. Gies Tang was totally gone and took a chunk of Sergeant Harkas with her. There was no time to mourn anyone. We fought on, and so did the 908th. Right to the bitterest of ends. Sergeant Harkas hung on but was going to need a med unit quick. But even when it was over, it wasn't quite over for us. We still had one more battle to fight. Courtesy of Darth Malevville. Lieutenant Castle, I have spared one prisoner, just for you, your brother, Captain Jared Castle. This man is a traitor to the Empire. Lieutenant, your own loyalty is suspect. Hey, Gil. Sorry to see you again. Given the circumstances. To prove your loyalty, you must either execute the traitor or stand condemned yourself. No. No. Blast you. He's done his duty. This is wrong. Do it, Gil. You can't save me, and we shouldn't both die here. It's okay. Do it. No. There are some things more important than duty. Than life. Then let both of you die as traitors. You die with him, you Sith son of a barf. Do you think a lord of the Sith dies so easily? If you would avenge a traitor, then you are a traitor. Thus die all enemies of the Sith. Later, the higher-ups were told that Malevol was killed in battle, and that car was vaporized in the same blast that took Gies Tang. I don't know if they believed it, but that's how the report read. Good shooting, trooper. I haven't seen Hondo Car since. I checked with Sergeant Harkas before the Medidroid took him away. I'll be back. Maybe as much machine as man, but I'll be back. Replacements will find you. Keep them alive, Trask. Till I get back. Copy. Copy. I'm not a noob anymore. Sergeant? No. You're a real trooper now. Watch yourself, Trask. Excuse me, trooper, but do you know where I can find Joker Squad? I'm it. You're a newbie, right? Bit of advice. Forget what you know and be ready to learn if you want to survive the next few days. My life doesn't matter. I just want to serve the Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can do that best, noob, by still being alive tomorrow. Come on. Let's see if we can find our births. End. End.